Let's give you the detail on that Anglo-American Platinum and the company has called on unions to act responsibly in response to a planned overhaul of the group that will cut production and close mines. The reshuffle will lead to 14,000 job cuts. That number again, 14,000 job cuts, which Amplatz hopes to eventually replace with a similar number of new positions. The overhaul plan is expected to cost 3.2 billion rand, a total to be incurred in 2013, with most of that to be spent on retrenchment costs. The miner ended the day almost 1% lower at just under 495 rand. This is what Mines Minister Susan Shibangu had to say on the impact the job losses will have on the South African economy. The implication of their current decision, as we know, it has a major implications for the economy of our country, but also, as we know, that they've now announced that 14,000 workers are going to lose their jobs. I think all of us are aware about uh, the current challenges of jobs in South Africa, unemployment. And if you think of 14,000 workers who are going to lose their jobs with the families which they have, and if you look at it within the platinum sector, especially around, around Rustenburg, where the majority of workers there are workers who come from the rural areas, where there tends to be very, very minimal uh, economic activities in those areas. So it's one of those issues which once more tends to create a green future for the workers who might lose their jobs. 14,000 job losses. now. Uh, are the workers going to take this on the chin, given the history that we've seen, the recent history in the platinum environment? Are we not going to be in for a huge amount of turmoil? Potentially, I think we are. Um, it's devastating news. But um, as I was, I was wanting to say earlier, it's just sim symptomatic of, of far bigger issues. This isn't just about Amplats being unprofitable. It's about the sector overall. Uh, the mining stats through the course of the past couple of years have, have shown some, some trends which need to be addressed and need to be addressed properly. It's not just about labor, uh, business relations, it's, it's not about um, government regulations, it's all of this together. It's government regulations, it's electricity prices, it's, it's all of these things that tend to make the sector difficult to expand, difficult to make profitable. We, we need to tackle this as, as, a, as a whole. Uh, there, there's no point in, in singling out Amplats and looking at Amplats and saying, oh, you see, this is what capitalism does. This is symptomatic of far, far bigger, deeper issues that, that we need to tackle as a country. To get back to the point that Clearlaw was making earlier, mining is no longer much of a driver of GDP growth in this country, and that's very sad. When we have such a uh, huge potential sitting under the ground to, to be tapped into, uh, and, and to not be taking advantage of it as we are is, is criminal. We've systematically destroyed it. Well, yeah, there's a whole range of things. Number one, there's not that quality all around anymore. So that not, no one can do anything about it. The good stuff's been mined many, many, many years ago. What happened in the platinum industry is eight, nine, ten years ago, it was incredibly profitable and there was huge capital expansion, huge. I mean, the output must have doubled of platinum which no one shouted about at the time, saying you're making an irrational decision to increase jobs and work opportunities and investments. But what happened is the output doubled just as demand hit a peak and fell and costs went through the roof, Eskom, labor, everything. That was just the whole cost thing. So you had a story where two years ago, three years ago, no one was making money. So anyone who thought there weren't job losses coming in the platinum industry just was not living in reality. They were always going to come. In fact, I'm surprised it's taken so long to come. But the problem is, we are now. Now what do we do? It doesn't help that everyone fights. What do we do for the investment case now around the platinum stocks? Yesterday, the discussion was around the fact that potentially we've seen a bottom in the platinum stocks and that the news flow cannot get worse. Obviously, today's news flow really you know, puts that in the past because the news flow has got worse. What do we do now? Mm. Can we buy platinum stocks at this level? Because w the other thing that we were discussing yesterday is that supply side constraints are going to kick in. Mm. That's what's going to happen. Mm. And you are going to see the cyclicality of the industry coming to the fore, mm. where you will see the dynamic change and platinum stocks will well, increase. You know, to answer your question directly, and I'd like to answer it and also chime in on some of what uh, Wayne and George said. To answer the question directly is, 
this puts a floor on the price of platinum. Mm -hmm. Now, quite frankly, this the amount of capacity that Mplex has shut down is not enough. They needed to do more. This could have been 20,000 jobs. I think the minister should realize that. People that have been funding inefficient operations are tired of doing it. Shorter are tired of doing it. Shorter want to return on their money. So even this production cut does not take Mplex above the cost of capital, by the way. It does stem the loss and puts a floor on the price of platinum. So who does it really favor? Two parties. First, the lowest cost producers, people who can take up Mplex's market share in terms of production and do it at a lower cost than Mplex. So Impala is one of them. The marginal mines, well, Impala and Aquarius, so the, but the marginal mines like Lundman have received a reprieve from the guillotine because Lundman should have been closed down. And the fact that Mplex has receded and uh, set the floor on the platinum you know, price. That's exactly, the key and set here, the floor. Now, Lumen, by the way, is still not profitable, mm. but it can produce some to occupy some of that space, but not enough to cover it. So that's, you know, I think that's how it plays out.